Hello friends, welcome to Fun Learning. Well, I hope you've subscribed to our channel where we bring you a number of practice questions and previous year papers for various competitive exams like Olympiad, ASET, etc. Well, in this video, we are going to look at the IMO, that is the Maths Olympiad Level 2 paper for the third graders. So let's get started with this part of the video. Now we'll head to the class 3 level 2 paper. Well, this is the second level of exams for the high scoring students. So let's get started with this one. The first section is of logical reasoning. Kajal painted a red dot on each side of a cube. This is the cube here. Then she glued her cube to a piece of cardboard. How many red dots can be seen on Kajal's cube once it is glued to the cardboard? Is it A1? Is it B4? Is it C5? Or is it D6? Your time starts now. Well, let's solve this together. Now, if I draw a cube which is something like this, alright? And if I glue one side, that means this one side will be glued so that it sticks to the cardboard while the other sides will be visible. So if we look at this, we have one dot here, one dot here, one dot below, one dot here, let me make this bigger and one dot right in the front in this square. That means we have in all five dots that will be visible if one side is stuck to the cardboard. So our right answer is option C, 5. Next question. Which of the given rules was used for grouping the gr objects in group A and group B? This is the picture here. We need to select the options from option A which says group A objects with curved lines, group B objects with curved lines. Option B which says group A objects that are foods, group B objects with straight lines, option C that says group A objects that are balls and group B objects with curved lines or option D that says group A objects that are circular, group B objects with straight lines. Your time starts now. Well, if we look at this carefully, you will notice that group A is not all balls, neither they are all food, nor are they all clocks. They all are circular in shape. Hence, we can choose the option where group A says that the objects are circular and group B has all the objects with straight lines. Hence, the option D which says group B objects with straight lines is the right answer. Next question. Which number would correctly complete the pattern given in columns A and B? These are the columns A and B. We need to find which number will complete this pattern. Is it option A 100? Is it option B 120? Is it option C 140? Or option D 160? Your time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. Well, if you look at the numbers horizontally, they are double. That means B is equal to 2 times A. B is equal to 2 times A. So, if you notice B will be 2 times 5, that is equal to 10. 2 times 10 is equal to 20. So, on and so forth. So, 2 times 80 will be equal to 160. So, your right answer is option D, 160. Next question. If Karan continues this pattern given here, how many smaller rectangles will there be in the next figure? Is it option A, 4, option B, 8, option C, 12 or option D, 16? Your time starts now. Okay, let's look at this together. So, in the first image, there are four rectangles, smaller ones. In the second, there are eight. That means four. This is four times two. 
this is 4 times 3 because there are 3 rounds that we need to calculate. So it's increasing like that. Hence the fourth figure will be 4 times 4. That is equal to option D 16. Next question. Tanya started walking from her house. On the map, this is the map here, she went right 4 units and then up 3 units. Which of the following is her location now? A. Tanya's house, B. School, C. Post office or D. Park. This is the map here. Follow the instructions and choose your right answer. Your time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. Now, Tanya started walking from her house. So, this is where her house is. She went four units right. So, this side is right. So, one, two, three, four. So, she went four units right. And then three units up. So, that is one, two, three. So, she is here. So, which of the following is her location? So, she is in front of the park. So, it is the option D, park. Now, let's head to the mathematical reasoning section. First question. Mrs. John gave her students the following clues about a mystery number. There is a 2 in 1's place. There is a 7 in the 100's place. There is a 4 in the 10's place. What is the number? The time starts now. Well, I hope you got this easily. So, this is a three digit number. That means it will have a hundreds, a tens, and ones. Now, what are the clues? There is a two in ones place. So, I have Two here there is a 7 in the hundreds place so I have 7 here and there is a 4 in tens place so I have my 4 here so my number is 742 which is option D next question Bobby will leave for school at the time shown on the adjoining clock what time does the clock show option A 745 Option B, 809. Option C, 845. Or Option D, 908. The time starts now. Well, this is an easy one and I know all you smart kids would know the answer. So, the hour line is between 7 and 8. So, the hour is 7. And the minutes hand is at 9, that is 45 minutes. So, your answer is option A, 7.45. Next question. A teacher wrote an expression equal to 6 times 7. Which expression is equal to 6 times 7? Is it option A, 7 plus 6? Is it option B, 7 minus 6? Is it option C, 7 times 6? Or option D, 7 greater than 6. Time starts now. Well, it's an easy one. It is just testing your concept. So, 6 times 7 is same as 7 times 6. So, if it is a multiplication sign, the multiplication sign should continue. So, option C is the right answer and not the others. Next question. Which number shows the value of the model given here? The key is that one block or one unit is equal to 1. So, here I have some units. You need to calculate or understand what the calculation is and reach the right answer. Is it option A, 460? Option B is 160, option C 163 or option D 463. The time starts now. Well, let's look at this together. Now the units place is 111. One, one. So there are 3 in units place. 
Now, if you count these ones, they will be 10 in number. So, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this would be 60. And if you look at this, there will be 10 here. And lengthwise also, it is 10. So, 10 times 10 make it 100. So, there is 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we have 400 plus 60 plus 3 which is 463 so option D is your right answer let's see what does question number 10 say which of these numbers has a digit in tens place that is greater than 4 is it option A 6537 is it option B 2364 is it option C, 1928 or option D, 4815? Your time starts now. Well, this is just testing your number placement. So, a four digit number has thousands first, hundreds after that, tens is the third digit and ones is the last digit so you have to look that this third digit is greater than four or not well six five three seven so three is in the tens place which is not greater than four two three six four so six is greater than four one nine two eight two is in tens place it's not greater than four four eight one five one is in tens place and it is not greater than four the right answer is option B. Now we go to the next question which reads Which of the following represents the number with the value of the digit in the hundredth place greater than the digit in the thousandth place? Read this question again and understand what they are asking. So you need to find the right answer from A, B, C, or D. Your time starts now. Well, here all they want to ask you is find that block which has the hundreds block to be greater than the digit in thousands block. And thousands is the first block. So, let's see here it is 6 and 6 which is equal. So, just compare thousands and hundreds place. Here it is 6. So, let me just write the numbers. This is 6 and 6. This is 6 and 8. So, thousands place is less than hundreds place. And we are looking for that which has hundreds place greater than thousands. Or in other words, thousands less than hundreds. So, which we find in option C. If you want to check others, you can just do quickly check. This is 7 and this is 5. And here thousands is greater than hundreds. Similarly, here also thousands is greater than hundreds. So, your answer is option C. Next question. Use the calendar to answer this question. John cleans his book Almira every third day and his brother's Almira every fifth day. If this pattern continues, how many times during the month of July will he clean both Almiras on the same day? Is it option A1, option B2, option C6 or option D9? Your time starts now. So first, let's just mark every third day. So it's 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 and plus 3 plus 3 go plus 3 and plus 3. So these are all the third days. Now let's go to every fifth day. So that is 5, 10, 15, then 20 and then 25 and 30. So, 15 and 30 are intersected twice. Because if you look, it's 3 times 5 
is 15. So both third and fifth day will have 15 and 3 times 10 which can also be written as 3 times 5 times 2 is equal to 30. So both these numbers have 3 and 5 as its multiple and that is why 2 times it will coincide the cleaning of the Almira. So your answer is option B. Next question. Which set shows more than half shaded portion? Remember more than half. Is it option A? Is it option B? Is it option C? Or option D? The time starts now. Let's do it together. Let's just look at the images and you know half is just the half of what you have. Now here, this is the half out of four. Here, this is the half. Here, this is the half and here, this is the half. Now, in A, it is half which is shaded so it is not more than half. In B also, it is less than half that is shaded, so this is also good. But here, it both are shaded, so it is more than half that is shaded. So option C could be the right answer, but let's see option D. Here also half is shaded, so it fits the condition. So your right answer is option C. Next question. The pencils represent the fact family given below. 3 times 4 is equal to 12, 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4 and 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Which of these equations also belong to this fact? Is it A 12 divided by 6 equal to 2? Is it B 4 minus 3 equal to 1? Is it C 4 plus 3 equal to 7? Or is it D4 times 3 equal to 12? Your time starts now. Well, in this fact family, we need to ensure that we have the same number. So, we can eliminate A. Now, what we need to do is we need to find what is that is related to 4 by 3. Now 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Well, it removes from the fact family because we have now comparison of 1. Neither 4 plus 3 equal to 7 but 4 times 3 equal to 12 is what fits this fact family. That means if you count 4 3 times it will give equal to 12. And this fits with this condition given here. So, fact family is something where the operation and the numbers are related to the given conditions. Next question. Shirley's house is 2375. Which of these shows her address written in numeral form? Is it A 2357? Is it B 2375? Is it C2735 or D23705? Time starts now. Well, 2375. Let me give you a quick tip here. So, if you look at the number, it is given 2375. That means the last two digits would be 75 because you have 10s and 1s. And if you look at the option, it is only option B which has 75 in the 10s and 1s. And this is 2375 which is 2000 plus 300 plus 75 which gives us 2375 which is also option B. Now let's head to our everyday mathematics section. The first question here is Mr. Ankit had 36 notebooks to hand out to his students. Each student received the same number of notebooks and there were no notebooks left over. There are 9 students in his class. 
which of these should be used to determine the number of notebooks each student received is it a 9 times 36 is it b 36 minus 9 is it c 9 plus 36 or is it d 36 divided by 9 the time starts now Well this is just testing you the concept so you have 36 notebooks which are handed out to his students and none of them are left over that means they are distributed equally among nine students so distribution is nothing but division so your right answer is option D Next question John's pet store had 329 silver fish 704 starfish and 1058 goldfish what was the total number of fish he had is it option a 1033 is it option b 1461 is it option c 2071 or option d 2091 your time starts now Okay, let's look at this together. So all we need to do is just add them. So you have silver fish which is 329. You have star fish which is 704 and you have gold fish which is 1058. Remember kids whenever you are writing your numbers be clear in the positions so that you can write the positions clearly Now 9 plus 4 is 13 and 13 plus 8 is 21 so you have 1 carry 2 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 5 is 9 3 plus 7 is 10 0 carry 1 and 1 plus 1 is 2 so it is 2091 is the total number of fishes that is option D Next question Tarun has 152 baseball cards his friend Mohit has 129 baseball cards how many more baseball cards than Mohit does Tarun have Your time starts now. Let's look at this together. So we have Mohit who has 129 baseball cards and Tarun who has 152 baseball cards. So what do we need to find here? How many more baseball cards does Tarun have? So that would be the total 152 minus 129, which will give well two is less than nine. It will borrow from five. Five get reduced to four, making the two twelve. Twelve minus nine is three. Four minus two is two, and one minus one is zero. So it is twenty-three. So our answer is twenty-three. Next question: Manoj skips rope for one minute without stopping. How many seconds did he skip? Time starts now. Well, this is testing your time knowledge. So one minute is equal to. 60 seconds so that means she skipped for option C 60 seconds next question dia spent one week at summer camp what is the total number of days in one week is it option A 7 is it option B 2 is it option C 5 or option D 8 time starts now Well I know you've got this right yes one week is equal to 7 days so your right answer is option A and with that we end this practice session for our level 2 question paper 
Well, I hope you were able to solve most of the questions easily and quickly. If you need more practice, go to our playlist where you'll find a lot of practice questions and other papers for your grade. So till we meet again, take care.